hear that, hear that, hear that, and then I, yeah right, yeah I know that ain't my thing, boy I, where black locks turn back blocks into black ops, stunting turn into half knots, if you get, man it's an hour before Matt lock and them show up, if you rent late then they padlock and yo dough up, my come up was ugly, store trips, colorful money, hugging the tummy, nothing was, that Brooklyn borough is thorough, over bangles they throw like burrow and and you block again just to make all that blur. I can't believe I made it like that's supposed to be sterile. But here I am, and my words are certainly fertile. A twist of the wrist, your favorite artist turns into a mural. Y'all wearing dresses and purses, stressing them burkas, fam. I'll put it in that gown, popping circumstance. Mm, I can tell you ain't from brown that. Tell your favorite rapper that I want my sound back. Oh God, my can't allow that. We up up in the whip and pull up where your house at with the loud. Them, where well, you found that unannounced get the base, then we bounce huh. all fried, so much cap, it's astounding. East side, run up muck in your township. Back in the lab again, back on your again. I then whip through Madison, out east Afghanistan. We this skirt, do dirt like Zadarans. I've been so adamant, so cold like Avalanche. I go by Babylon, be in my bag again. More moolah, more problems go crazy. I'm a better cuddle, tunnel under just like I'm El Chapo. Huh, back up on my me no sin no stems. You get a huh. um I got a daughter now, so things are um it's good, you know. When are we gonna see you on a cover of NBA 2K? By 20, by 2K27. Okay, I like that. Let's do it. Are you ready to go get my My Team card? Let's see how it turned out. Let's go. 2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. We get a look at the sun shining in the buildings of downtown Salt Lake City, Utah. Our broadcast location today. Hi and welcome everyone here on 2K Sports. Can't wait to get some NBA action going. Tonight, we'll see the Utah Jam as they play against the Denver Nuggets. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Brett Beard. From the sideline, we'll have David Aldridge. We'll be hearing from him in just a moment. Now let's take a look at the Nuggets opening lineup. We've got Durant. Lewis is out there with Kemp. Then it's Walton. And it's Hardaway in at the point. And for Utah, they've got Carter. Mitchell is out there with Russell Westbrook. Then it's Joel Embiid, and it's Thurman in at the pivot spot, and in the middle. And tonight, a battle between conference rivals. Brett, these teams know each other very well. Always fun to see in these kind of matchups, Kevin, if a coaching staff on either side decides to throw a wrench in the works and play a player or a combination of players that the other team is not expecting. Like you said, they know each other very well, but who will execute tonight? They'll get the win. Now here is Carter. Back to Westbrook. Six to shoot. Near the three-point line, it's Mitchell. Offensive rebound. Great positioning on the putback. That is really good work there on the offensive glass. And so is Katie with it. He brings up the ball for the Nuggets. off the step back and Embiid pulls it down Lewis against Carter what about one minute into the first misses the lamp he had him with that bump fake Westbrook against Lewis and there's the pass to Hardaway here's Walton Shot clock at six. Feeds to Hardaway. Over Carter. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And Carter picks one up. And Hardaway's nickname came from his grandmother. She was calling him pretty. But with that southern draw, it sounded like Penny. The Jazz have gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Westbrook passes to Carter. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. And Walton sends 
it back. And how about the anticipation and timing? You know, we talk about Walton's offense. How about the defense, though, he provides for this team? Now, here's Westbrook. Mitchell passes to Thurman. Got a piece of it. Walton with the steal. Duran against Westbrook. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. Durant, the pass to Walton. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. Now here is Carter. Rebound, Bill Walton. So far, the team just one of five in that rim shrinking. Here's Lewis. That one, no good. And it's Utah the other way. Always going up for the alley-oop here. An emphatic alley-oop jam. I like to see this from Westbrook when he focuses on hitting his guys. It can make the entire team better. Pass to KD. Outside for Lewis. Just five to shoot. And then Hardaway with the dunk. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. And he gets one to fall. And now one out of his first four. Hardaway against Westbrook. Bounce pass from Durant. Who is outside? Kemp kicks to Hardaway. Outside, KD. And for the rebound. And Walton throws it down. That is a product of pure effort, guys. I agree, and that's nothing new coming from him, GA. He loves going to work on the rebounding, going to work on the board. Stick with fundamentals there. Shot goes up, box out, or he'll destroy you. He's not very hard to defend right now. This is when the defense might step back and let him try to find his range. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. And a first time out of the game called for Utah. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Well, they can't find the net right now. And all they need, I think, is just to get one to go get back on track. Let's see. Here's Westbrook. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Mitchell outside. Pass to Thurman. Drives to the hoop. And Hardaway comes to help. Just four to shoot. Here's Carter. Here's Thurman. Nice work on the board. It's paying off with the best. Thurman's got six. That's a testament to the effort there on the boards. Never willing to give up on the possession. Finding ways to sniff out the ball. And then Hardaway, Hardaway. with the dunk. Love seeing a point guard who can explode to the rim like that. Oh, great attitude and even a better finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. And the Jazz with possession here. After the Nuggets pick up two. Westbrook with a wide open look. They get it back, and B. And he can't jam it through. Let's hope for his sake that he does not try that one ever again. And there's Sean Kemp on the assist by Walton. They are just killing him on the interior. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Passes to MB. Here's Thurman. No good. Great D that time from Walton. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have. Staying aggressive and playing under control. And right now, they're just focused on putting together good possessions. 
surprised exactly how they got the lead. They ended up having multiple possessions in a row with good quality shots, knocked them down, and the game is fully in their control. Now here's Westbrook, still looking for his first bucket in this one. Carter, the pass to Mitchell. Over Lewis. And it's blocked by Lewis. Here is Durant. And the rejection by Embiid. One of the premier shot swatters in the world. The length of Embiid makes it hard to be scored. Oh, and the jam by Westbrook. And how many times have we seen Westbrook play up like that with the poster shot? He's just doing what simply other people cannot. Now here is Hardaway. He has six. Who is outside? Outside Durant. That one drops and he's now two for five. That's the tenth straight point they've given up in the paint. Outside Westbrook. The basket corner. And B trying to break loose. And that's good. Vince Carter for three. Carter's got a pair of threes now in the first quarter for Utah. Mitchell against KD. A shot. There's his third field goal, and now he's made half of his six shots. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Carter against Kemp. It's Carter, high post. Six points for him. Westbrook finds MB. Lays it up off the glass. Offensively, we see MB all over the floor, but inside is where he can really utilize that size. Denver leading by four. Here's Hardaway. And the shot no good, a bit short. His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. Westbrook passes to Embiid. Over Hardaway. Here's Thurman. And it's Denver with the rebound. Here's KD. And the layup's good off the glass. Durant's got eight. Doing a lot of nice work now from the field. He's helped get them this lead, and now he's helped them keep it. Double team on West. The shot by Carter. Nobody around. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. And he's not going to miss that sort of an opportunity from deep. Hardaway with the bounce pass. Pass to Kemp. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will take it. On the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. Greg Popovich and I did speak a few minutes ago. One player he feels they can shake off his game was Joel Embiid. Coach told me he's a great player, but he can get in his own way if you frustrate him. Get him thinking about something other than the game. That's what we have to do. We'll see if Embiid can avoid distractions. Keep focused tonight, guys. Thank you, David. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Nuggets. And as things present themselves throughout a game, teams have to adapt on the fly. And timeouts are a wonderful opportunity to just settle in and recollect the thoughts of your entire team. Not just the guys playing, but the entire team. Westbrook against Terry. Pass to Durant. The Nuggets get it back in a new 14. Yeah, there's not a rebound that Whiteside cannot get to when he's floating around the charge circle, reaches up, snatches that one down. Here's Stackhouse, and down it goes, jamming that one home. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands on that stuff. Two minutes remaining in the first. Terry against Westbrook. Passes it to Eaton. The Nuggets moving the ball around. Here's Dantley. Here's Whiteside. And terrific work That's on the on. offensive glass, and he picks up two. Whiteside's got his second basket. 
they've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Griffin passes to Westbrook. Jordan trying to free himself up, and they pick up two. Yeah, you don't want to leave people open when Blake Griffin has vision of the floor. He exploited the hole in the defense that time. Now here's Durant. He's got eight. A shot. No good. Good D by Jordan. To the paint. Here's Stackhouse. And it's blocked by Whiteside. When you consider just how long and how big Whiteside is down there, it's not surprising that shot blocking is something he does well. One fourteen left to play in the first quarter. They grab their own miss. Short. And at last, they get one to fall. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. Terry, the pass to Eaton. He dishes it to KD. And he's going up for the alley-oop. Hammers the alley-oop through. Uh, of course, Kevin Durant, one of the game's greatest scorers of all time, but his ability within this offense to make plays, elevating the team. Now here's Jordan. The kick out to Holiday. Six on the shot clock. Goes back up. Good work defensively by KD. Denver in the lead. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Dantley. Covered by Stackhouse. And it's blocked by Jordan. If there's one end of the floor that DJ takes seriously, it's the defensive end. And he loves to get up and reject those shots. His first personal foul. First team foul. In for the Nuggets. 12 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Terry with it. The tray. And so it's Kevin Durant making headlines and highlights for the Denver Nuggets. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. And we've got more NBA action on 2K Sports. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Nuggets? Guys, right from the start, it's been apparent they're determined to establish a presence in the paint. I also love the early energy that they've played with, pushing the ball every chance they get, exploring quick shots, and showing some serious fast-break offense. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor, all fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. Taking a look at the Jazz, they've got Griffin, also DeAndre Jordan out there. Jerry Stackhouse is out there with Holiday, and it's Keenan in at the two spot. Shot by Terry, no good. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. No good from Stackhouse. And it's Terry with the ball for the Denver Nuggets. The pass to Dantley. Now Hamilton, covered by Stackhouse. Shot from the top of the key, and he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Hamilton's got his first two points. Outside Griffin. Just over a minute gone here in the second quarter. Left side Jordan. Back to Holiday. Griffin trying to get open. That's good from Holiday on the assist by Jordan. And that ties it up. That's a beautiful shot there for Drew. Defenses have to account for Drew Holiday out there behind the arc. To the wing right side. Right side, high post. And the jam by Whiteside. Whiteside. Very little resistance against that throwdown. Nope, not what they want to see in a game this close, Drake. On one side, inspiration. On the other, devastation. Outside Jordan. And Rip Hamilton gets the whistle that time. Hamilton. That's his first foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Here's Holiday. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Off with the layup. 
Now here's Terry. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. The three. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Then finds Holiday over Terry. Holiday with another miss. Denver leading by five. And here's Hamilton. Here's Eaton. And three chances on that possession. But they just couldn't find a way to score. Griffin dishes to Stackhouse. Here's Dantley. Covered by Stackhouse. Jordan with the rebound. Jordan's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. On the wing, Holiday. Back to Griffin. Shoots from the right block, and that's good off the glass that time. You have to do better than that. Griffin is a pro at muscling in those difficult shots. Terry the pass to Eaton. Here's Hamilton. Over Jordan. Rebound, Utah. Jordan's got his sixth rebound on the night. Pass to Griffin. He kicks it to Holiday. Pops it up for Jordan. And DeAndre Jordan throws it down. Well, determined that time to get to the rim, anticipating the pass. And a rim rocker. Time called here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. And Brent the Rico added to the playoff format for 2021. The play-in tournament really became a hot button issue last season. Yeah, it felt like either you were gonna love it or you weren't gonna like it at all. And I think a lot of people really enjoyed the fact that the last month of the season provided games that had something at stake. And that positioning to get into the tenth slot with an opportunity to get into the playoffs drew the attention of, of NBA fans and players uh, to keep competing until the very end of the season to take that shot at getting into the oh, yes, sir. Two. A dynamic leaper with an impressive wingspan. Mitchell usually has some flashy dunks up his sleeve. An outstanding defensive play to earn the mobile one block. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Jazz trail by three. Denver foul. Sean Kemp. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. away against Mitchell. A floater, and Walton sends it back. Lewis with the three, and Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Mitchell feeling it out a bit. And it's Denver with the rebound. Walton's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Here's Lewis. Jordan with the rebound. And it's Mitchell with the ball for Utah. They trail by three to the left side wing. Keenan the pass to Carter. Shot from free throw range. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. The Carter just a freak of nature. One of the best dunkers the game has ever seen a, a top-tier shooting guard who just embraces the spotlight. Carter hits them both. Denver's gone one or two on three-pointers here in the second quarter so far. Hardaway against Mitchell. Oh, that was huge! And just flew it off the dribble. Great length to finish it. Hardaway attacking now with purpose. Kicks to Carter. And he drives in, and Vince Carter with the slam. 
making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. Really not enough help there. Lack of communication on the backside. Jazz have gone 5 12 from the field here in the second. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. He's gone two for two at the line so far. And it's tied up with that one. The Jazz making a switch here. Westbrook's checked in. And Denver also making a switch. Kevin Durant's checked in for Hamilton. And for the Nuggets, they're shooting at just about an even 40% from the field for the second quarter. Westbrook against Hardaway. Lewis passes to Durant. Off target from three-point range. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Knocked away. And now the fast break. Mitchell with the ball. And it's Westbrook. That time on the assist by Mitchell. And it's a six-point jazz lead. Uh, this is Westbrook just being ultra competitor. He gets in there and the defense has nothing to do. A floater. Durant, no good. I have a hard time shaking that one off. Perfect position, plenty of space. Just flanked it. The Nuggets trail by six. And it's Lewis at the elbow. It's deflected. You know, I'm not sure another player combines defense and offense as well as Thurman. The only reason he doesn't get more blocks is because so many guys are afraid to bring the ball anywhere near him. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stands for the Jazz. Well, in the first half of the play, they're closing out aggressively, blocking shots. A key indicator of their activity on the defensive side. Well, the work on the offensive glass has been impressive as well. So many of their points have come on second, maybe even third chance opportunities. Now Hardaway, he's got 12. Pass to Walton. Lock at six. Passes it to KD. And that comes off the assist by Bill Walton. KD's got 11. Well, the ball hitting his hands and then the ball hitting the back of the net as KD throws another one. Mitchell against Hardaway. Throws it up high. And too long on the shot. The Nuggets trail by six. Down low. He's looking for Kemp and finds him. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Oh, beautiful setup there. One thing you can say about Kemp, no pass is too hot for him to go get. Here's Carter. Offensive rebound. Thurman. A beautiful reverse lane. He's got eight. Man, he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. And the foul called on Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell. That is his that first is foul of the game. Personal foul. First team foul. Walton the pass to Katie. The pass to Hardaway. Five to shoot. Rebound, Utah. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. And Durant sends it back. Yeah, the large wingspan of Durant on full display. What a block there. Hardaway passes to Walt. Over Westbrook. And the shot is good. The Utah lead has been cut down now to just four points with the basket from Walton. Well, you like guys who can work that in-between area. Really keeps the defense on it. Oh, man, that is just easy for him out there. At his size, with that kind of touch, that is money. As we've gotten closer to halftime, their style has become more and more physical. The Jazz have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. And what you love about Embiid, he gives you the offense, defense, rebounding, 
but he also plays with an edge. And he gives this team a certain confidence when they take the floor. Durant with it, and it's Carter picking him up. Durant kicks to Lewis. Pass to Kim. Two minutes remaining in the first round. Two minutes. On the way up top, offered by Mitchell. A putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. I'd say you have to body him up, but who has the body to keep Kemp from getting where he wants to go? Pass to Carter. Over Lewis. Another miss by Utah. Even if you're not shooting it, you like to see the effort level, and his tonight has been high. Carter loves seeing a point guard who can explode to the rim like that. Oh, great attitude and even a better finish. Well, just seeking out weaknesses in the defense and then exploiting it. To the middle. And they double up and beat. This is it to Thurman. And Walton sends it back. And the pass to KD. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the jam. Here's Carter. Rebounded by Kemp. Kemp's got four rebounds in this game. Lewis dishes to Durant. Over Mitchell. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Uh, if he's going to keep shooting, they've got to run some plays for him. Screens, pick and rolls. Anything they can do to get him started. And there's an edge to Mitchell's game. He wants to be the guy in charge. And if that means he's got to get physical, he'll do it. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Durant, the pass to Walton. And B trying to break loose. And it's Walton missing. Here's Westbrook. Nine points in the game so far. Embiid fires from deep. He knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials are getting together. They may want to review this one. The teams are going to have to wait before heading to the locker room. Bring out the monitor and see if he got that shot off in time. All right, thank you, David. And folks, don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Utah found themselves in a close game in the first. They were in a rough spot down seven at one point, but kept it from getting worse than that. They took control in the second quarter, ending the half up by six. second half action for you thus far a pretty evenly contested game look at Vince Carter in this game I mean he's been everywhere well through the first two he has been nothing short of a marksman from deep yeah you would hope the defense at least would start to consider creeping up on him just a little bit here's who Greg Popovich is starting in the second half they've got Walton Kemp is out there at Lewis then there's Hardaway and it's KD in at the shooting guard position Hardaway with a wide open look and it's off from three-point range. For three, Westbrook. He can't get it to go. And it's Denver the other way. Inside, and B with the steal. Carter with it. And the officials into the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And that block might serve as a spark for this team. We'll see if it can ignite them. Mitchell against KD. Looking to get it going. And then Durant with the jam. I like to see KD when he just elongates like that. It's all the way up to the rim for an easy throw down. Outside, Carter carries it from three-point range. 
Carter's got 20 points. And guys, he's been a one-man air raid coming at them time and time again. Kind of like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. Well, both of them looking towards the three-point line, and I like to see that, especially when the results are made buckets. That's a tough rebound if you don't have the length that he does, so the size paying off. Here's Hardaway with the 10. It's good on the putback. Kemp's got 10 points. Great at using his body and finding his feet in positions on the boards where he can get up, get to it, get an extra possession. Pass to Carter. Out left of the wing. Embiid finds Mitchell. Carter inside the three-point line, and it's good off the back of the rim and in. Carter's got five points now in the quarter. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Utah leading by four. Mitchell outside. Over Lewis, and Durant sends it back. Here's Embiid. And he drops in the way up off the glass. He's got six. You see that nasty streak Embiid possesses. Part of why he's a superstar. Great motor. Durant inside. Covered by Mitchell. And that one, good. And it's Westbrook with the ball. He brings it up for Utah. They lead by four. Shoots over KD. And now the Nuggets. Nice break. And here they go. Lewis misses. Utah has gotten off 12 shots from beyond the arc tonight, hitting seven of them. To the inside. The 10 footer. The rebound by Walton. Walton's got 11 rebounds in the game. Hardaway against Westbrook. Hardaway passes to Walton. That drops and it comes off the assist from Hardaway. Hardaway has got three assists now in this one. Carter against Lewis. Carter down low. Lays it up and banks it in. Carter's got seven points for the quarter. And guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Lewis on top. Back to Durant. Pass to Hardaway. Shot clock at five. From deep. Rebound, Utah. Carter's got four rebounds now tonight. Sean Lewis pulls it in. And they get it back. The Nuggets trail by six. Outside, KD. Driving inside, and he steps it down right on top of Joel Embiid. Yeah, can you add that one to Durant's ongoing highlight reel? Thank you very much. Let's take another look at the staunch defense during that mobile one block. And this is why coaches stress the importance of defense. Big block there in this close game. Not just the accuracy in the quarter, it's his movement and the energy that's getting him on this nice roll. Now the pass to KD. Cracks in the tray. Durant's got 23. Well, he just nailed his second three of the half, guys. I'd be very aware of that if I were the defense right now. And the Jazz call time here. All right. Open the court. Come on. Get back. We don't see it again. All right, fans. That was the Jazz next now, here's Westbrook. Nine points in the game so far. Down low. Here's Stackhouse. And it's sent back by KD. Here's Hamilton. DeAndre Jordan grabs the miss. Jordan's got rebound number eight now on the night. Keenan the pass to Westbrook. Here's Griffin. He's covered by Whiteside. And it's blocked by Whiteside. 
The Nuggets trail by three. Outside Durant. And it's Hardaway atop the key. Back to KD. For the tie. And again, Denver with the triple. And that's a six foot 11 guy handling the rock. Coming off the pick. Amazing skill level on Durant's part. Westbrook picks to Griffin. Pass to Stackers. Here's Keenan. Six on the shot clock. There's the three. No good from Stackhouse. The Nuggets have gone 8 of 14 on their shot attempts here in the third. Some pretty nice work. And it's Griffin with the rebound. Utah has gone 1 of 4 in three-point shots here in the third. Here's Keenan. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. He kicks it to Westbrook. The Jazz need to get off a shot here. And it's Keenan missing. Denver's gotten the three-pointer to fall to the tune of 50% here in the third quarter. They've made three of six. Hits it from three-point range. Defensively, they just look out of sync. Not closing out on the threes in time. Westbrook against Durant. To end the run. Denver grabs the miss. Then Durant with the dunk. Well, elite scoring ability of Kevin Durant. When he's in a groove like this, every opportunity when he has the ball feels like a good one. And the Jazz call time here. And coach can't be happy, and, and I think I know why. Their defense putting up no resistance inside. No, they're not preventing them from scoring. And if you can get to a high efficiency shot on the floor, and that's the paint, you just keep going. Drew Holiday. He's checked in for Russell Westbrook. Now Stackhouse. Jordan. And there's Jordan putting it right back in. Jordan's got six. Now those interior passes can be dangerous sometimes, but if the timing is good and you execute it there, you can get easy hoops. Hamilton kicks to Terry. And Jerry Stackhouse picks up the phone. That is his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Here is Whiteson. Six points for him. Terry outside. Five on the clock. Banked in off the glass. Terry's got his second basket of the game. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Here's Stackhouse. Eaton grabs the miss. And this feels like it's snowballed a little bit on them. The more he tries to shoot his way out of this slump, the worse it seems to get. They need him to get it together. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. And Holiday kicks to Jordan. Inside. Right side against Griffin. Pass to Stackhouse. Jordan dishes to Holiday. Over Terry. A shot by Holiday. No good. The Nuggets leading by seven. Hamilton outside. Passes it to Dantley. That one misses. The Jazz go the other way with it. Holiday left side. And stolen by Hamilton. To the middle. And pushing it up. Here's Denver. An agile play to get his hand in there and get the steal. Intelligent play to immediately start the break. Here's Holiday. Another miss by Utah. And so it's Terry bringing it up for the Nuggets. Here's Dentley. Chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Jazz trail by nine. Out to the right wing. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Here's Stackhouse. Terry covering. Stackhouse, the pass to Keenan. Shot clock at six. 
Holiday inside the line. Another miss, and they desperately need a bucket. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. Especially if you're a player that doesn't get a lot of shot attempts. But otherwise, the mindset is, I just got to get the next one to go. And you don't want to put that much pressure on yourself. Here's Hamilton. Money from the wing. Hamilton's got the lead up to 11 now for the Nuggets. Uh, unwilling to let up, even for a moment. That's his killer instinct, just fanning the flame. Yeah, he's the guy that you want to go to right now, trying to put this one away. The feed to Griffin. Shoots from the line, and Denver contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. They get Hassan Whiteside. There's some unique qualities to the play of Blake Griffin, a big with incredible handles and passing skills who can still throw it down. The Nuggets leading by 10. One oh two left in the third quarter. Here's Dantley. Denver needs to get off his shot. Here's Hamilton. Right side trying to break free. No good from Hamilton. Utah's gotten a positive outcome on seven of their 14 three-pointers in this game. Not bad at all. How about Drew Holiday? Unselfish, team-first player. Love that from the guard position. Terry against Holiday. And there's Terry. Seven points in the game. No good from Hamilton. Jazz trail by eight. Griffin looking around. Outside Holiday. To the right side. Here's Stackhouse. Nice spin off the left rim and in. Stackhouse has got his second bucket. And so it's the Denver Nuggets with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They set the tone. They love their tempo. They're going to be very tough to stop. And we'll be right back after this. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. And he sliced for the wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. And that's what great passing will do for you right there, dissecting the defense with that play. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. So with Griffin sitting on the bench, this is the lineup for Maurice Cheeks. Mitchell is out there with Holiday, and there's Carter. Then it's Joel Embiid, and it's Thurman in at the five, patrolling the paint. Lewis gets the bucket. Lewis. Changing ends quickly. He's rewarded with the high percentage look. Yeah, the defense trying to do their best to slow him down, but when he gets green like that, you got to look out. A power flush with a long hang on the rim at the end of that. that could be, you know, that could be a catalyst for him. It really could. There's the pass to Dantley. Terry outside. He feeds it to Lewis. Tries again. And the rejection by MP. To the paint. And the shot is good. The Denver lead has been cut down to just four points in the bucket from Carter. And great intensity here down the stretch. He's not one to shrink in the moment. Take a look at that. Locked in right now in this moment. Wants the ball in his hands and feels real. Oh. Oh. What an incredible elevator. Don't tell Mitchell he's six feet. Donovan plays way bigger. Who is outside? Walton, the pass to Terry. Kicks it to Kemp. Six to shoot. Here's Tintley. And another miss by Denver. Not great numbers, but great effort in this one. Sounds funny, but I think he's been a positive for them. And the unpredictable nature of Mitchell is hard to game plan against, especially when he drives. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The hustle stats for Denver. We've seen them make the extra effort from a defensive standpoint, closing out airspace and sending shots back. 
I also love the fact that they played with speed tonight. They haven't sputtered one bit, constantly getting out on the break and creating opportunities in transition. Russell Westbrook's check in for the Jazz. And at the line, it's all about consistency with him. His routine, his stroke, it never wavers. Hardaway with it. And it's Carter picking him up. Lewis with the three. And another miss by Denver. And here's Utah. Good momentum. Eight straight points. That drive by Carter. And you know Carter is taking off on the drive. But he has a head of steam right there. He's looking to tear off the rim. The time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. Vince Carter really making a difference here. Well, I hope this one is not the draw of a play, but the think about how they're going to defend that man. He's putting up some major numbers. Durant's checked in for the Nuggets. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, guys, during the last break, I listened to Greg Popovich talk to his team. Not happy with the way this game is going. He said you're getting used out there on the perimeter. Inside the arc, we're doing some good things, but outside, we're a disaster. Tighten it up. Kevin will see if they can close out on their shooters a little more effectively. Thank you, David. Back to Embiid. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. And that's eight points for Joel Embiid. And the strength of Embiid oftentimes just overwhelms the defense. Able to absorb physical coverage and still finish. Durant kicks to Lewis. Denver passing it around. Here's Hardaway. Good D by Westbrook. And it's Westbrook with the ball. He brings it up for the Jazz. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Here's Durant. Will not go. This is off the front eye. On offense, here are the Jazz. They've got a 12-2 run in progress. Westbrook double team. Here's Thurman. And by Hardaway. Fires from 14. And it's Denver with the rebound. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. And there have been some terrible shot choices here, Kev. That's not a good look at all. Here's Carter. And he banks in the lane. Carter's got six here in this quarter. And guys, all about hard work from this point on. They worked hard to create that high-quality shot and then able to knock it down. Carter against KD. Pass to Lewis from outside the arc. A rebound by the Jams. Thurman's got 11 rebounds in the game. But his shooting this quarter has to be a huge concern, especially when they're behind like this. Can he find a rhythm? Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Pass to Walton. Back to Hardaway. And that comes off the assist by Bill Walton. Walton's got five assists in the game. Westbrook against Durant. Westbrook passes to Carter. There's the dish to Mitchell. Bobbed up there for Westbrook. And that's collected by Bill Walton. And tried to show off just a little bit there, but ultimately uh, didn't work out. You know, he's going to get a few stares from his coaching staff and probably his teammates in the next quarter. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. And that drops, so they now lead by one. And this is a guy, Sean Kemp, of all the talent in the world, could be a perennial double-double machine, just a matter of staying focused. Carter with the three. The Jazz again can't hit it. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. Lewis passes to Walton. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. The Nuggets leading by three. Guys, a potent offense right now. You know what, guys? And they're playing with a certain amount of assuredness in their game. That type of confidence is what leads teams to having success. Now he's put on a shooting display here in the second half. He really seems to be in a great groove right now. 
Carter right side. And finish shot by Carter. And that's what Carter does best. Knifing his way inside so he can finish with the easy slam. Passes to Walt. Outside Hardaway. Here he goes. And Chen shot near the three-point line. It's Lewis. That's good. And Walton with the assist. I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. Katie against Westbrook. Mitchell outside. He gets that one to drop. He's now 5 of 12. One of the more powerful young guards in our game. Mitchell loves to attack the heart of the defense. Here's Hardaway. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Hardaway. And the Nuggets lead by 5. That's how you draw it up right there. A screen to shed the defense. A quick move to the bucket. And you get the lay-in. And B gets to West. Up there for Embiid. Embiid. Yeah, Embiid. gets leading by three. Durant feeling it out of him. And the pass to Lewis. KD against Mitchell. Here's KD. And it's blocked. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. the Nuggets now. Carter left side. Driving the lane and then Carter with the jam. And how about the awareness of Mitchell? That, that's what stands out to me. He has a decision to make and does it with terrific timing. Step back and squared up. Durant's got 37. He's played a huge role in this game to this point, but it looks like he just wants more. He wants to make sure that this lead holds up. Carter outside. And it's all evened up. Carter's got 39. And we've seen him do this before, just kicking it up to another level here in the fourth. That puts him at 75% shooting in the fourth. Hardaway passes to KD. Yes, and it's Hardaway picking up the assist. Hardaway has got five assists in the game. And certainly, they are not hesitating. Letting it fly from deep here in the second half. Carter outside. Over Walton. And it's rebounded by Bill Walton. Walton's got rebound number 15 here tonight. Here's Durant, and the rejection by Embiid. Here's Mitchell, takes it inside, throws it down. If the official calls the foul, it may be a three-point play. Shard Lewis picks one up. And this is the time in the game when you want to go to your stars. Mitchell delivering. At the line for Utah, Donovan Mitchell. Free throw drops for Mitchell. Denver's gone one of three from outside the arc since we reached the fourth quarter. Denver calls timeout. Vince Carter really making a difference here. Just killing it from beat. They, they've got to be all up in his jersey at all times. Give him even an inch. If you just ask it for him to drop another triple. And now, let's present our New Balance Player of the Game, Kevin Durant. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. And so it's Carter who brings the ball up for the Jazz. Down to five on the shot clock. MB wide open. And that comes off the assist by Russell Westbrook. Embiid's got nine points here in the second half. Hardaway dishes to Durant. 
pass to Walton. Hobbs a hard away. Tried to come right back with a three of his own. It's no good. To the inside. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Charlotte Lewis picks one up. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Jazz. Their ability to rebound and convert those second chance opportunities has been a running theme throughout. I also love the fact that they played with speed tonight. They haven't sputtered one bit, constantly getting out on the break and creating opportunities in transition. He hits the first one, and that will put them up by right two. Drew Holiday has checked in for Utah. So he gets them both, and it's a three-point game. You might want to think twice before sending him to the line again. He gets locked in when the game gets close. Durant down low. Guarded by Holiday. Well, basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. And really at this stage of the game, to get those kinds of offensive rebounds from putbacks, you almost feel like it's a four-point swing. Yeah, and you know who your warriors are by plays like that. They make it when it matters most. A great, great job to get the bucket and to get to the line. When the game's on the line, you want you guys attacking like he did there. And the Jazz call time here. One forty-one left in the fourth quarter. Here's Westbrook. Count it and the foul. It's on Kevin Durant. And that's what a guy like Westbrook will do for you, willing his team forward in these big moments. The free throw drops for Russell Westbrook. Well, on top of everything else that you get from Russell Westbrook, you get some good foul shooting. Important trait for any point guard and great scorer in the league. Find your way to the line. Love the way Durant just goes after the jugular there. He's used to nailing those game changers. Westbrook feeling it out a bit. And it's Durant with the rebound. Durant's got four rebounds in this game. And he overshot that one, missing. Utah leading. In the corner, it's Westbrook. It goes up high for the two-handed dunk. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm, trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Katie drives in. Got it! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. Remember that one. Guys, a difference maker. I'm wondering, is that the biggest shot of the game? As to Westbrook. Mike Holiday. Carter right side. Wide open look. Yes! He's a guy that lives for a big moment like that. Great focus and courage in the clutch. Here's Durant. It drops. And that shot brings them to within just one. Well, anyone questioning Durant's killer instinct can stop right now. Wow. You can probably expect to see him slow it down now. Yeah, I think you want to milk. It's a certain mindset right now to want the ball at the end of games, and Westbrook has it. Time call here. The Nuggets decide to talk it over. They're trailing by three. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, what do you think? And if you can get a three, shoot it. Otherwise, get the quick two and a foul. Don't force something up. you got to be smart here. There's 21 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Money! Yeah, nice oh. silky finish on the alley-oop from this stupendous oh. field. That sequence couldn't have been executed any better. Utah calls timeout. 
They lead by one. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they stop the clock as soon as they can with the intentional foul. Yeah, you can't let them hold the ball and just look those last seconds away. He drops the first one, and that will put them up by two. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a three-point game. That last one was a difference maker. It pushed it from a two-point lead to three. From deep three-point range, and they recover it. Yeah, maybe a little luck, maybe a little bit of heart. Both of those at play here. He's getting every offensive rebound. And now we've got the intentional foul. Good on the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And so he drops them both. It's a five-point game. Now that'll ice it right there. Not everybody can keep their composure at the line in such a big situation.